Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to design a crane hook by using Design Modeler of ANSYS Workbench. We will start by double clicking on Geometry. Next, I will right click on Geometry. New Design Modeler Geometry. Units, I'll choose millimeter. I'll first go to the ZX plane. Then I'll go to sketching. I'll click on look at. I'll select circle. I'll draw a circle and give it dimension. Also, I'll mark its center distance from this line. Say the diameter is 20 and its distance is 35. Next in the ZX plane, I will create another sketch. I will now go to sketch 2 and draw another circle just opposite to the first one. I will give it dimensions again. This is same as that of the first one. Diameter is 20 and the distance is 35. Next, I'll go to XY plane. I'll create a sketch. I'll click on look at. I'll choose a circle. I'll give it diameter. Say it is 60. Next, I'll go to Modify option and use Trim. I'll trim the upper portion of the circle. Next, I'll go to XY plane again and create another sketch, sketch 4. I'll go to sketching again. I will draw another circle in this sketch. The diameter of this circle is also 60. Now I will draw a line over here. I will use trim option from modify and delete this circle. The lower portion and also this portion of the circle. So what remains is only this much. Now I will go to fillet and I will give a fillet of 11mm. I will select these two sides. So that completes the four sketches. Ok, in sketch 1 I will give the dimension as 30 and sketch 2 also I will give this dimension as 30. Because this should be exactly at the center of the circle's end so that you can use the sweep option. Next, I'll go to sweep. I'll select sketch 2. And for path, I'll select sketch 4 and generate. I'll use the sweep option again. I'll select profile as sketch 1. And for path, I'll choose sketch 3. So this completes some part of the crane hook. Now I'll use chamfer option in this end. I'll change this lift into 9 and generate. Now on this face, I want to create a new plane.
I will draw a circle here. See the dimension is 25. Now I click on extrude. Apply. I'm going to add material. And say the depth is 12 mm. Generate. Again on this face, I will create another plane. I'll draw another circle. I'll give it dimension. Say it is 20. I'll extrude it for a depth of 20 generate next I'll use the chamfer option on the surface I'll give this value as 3 3 and on this face also I'll use the chamfer option I'll get the value as 3 3 again. So this completes my EOT crane hook. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to model a crane hook using Design Modeler. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.